The official live letter has come out and we have a lot of interesting stuff and important things for brand new players and veterans to know. My name is Bunboss and this is the official Final Fantasy live letter number 80. This is jam packed with information. I'm going to speak on the super important pieces of Final Fantasy 14 events here and we'll dive deeper on my stream this week. First order of business is this gigantic graphical update and wowza did they really want to show off a lot to us. They give us a ton of different things to look forward to for this which I think is super important for world immersion. Some of these spaces felt empty before and I really like how they're trying harder to make spaces feel busier and occupied which makes you really feel like you're in the game and not just running through a deserted place. Another thing I noticed is the nature and the foliage upgrades, making many of these more 3D and having many more pixels and sharper looking. I'm looking forward to what Dawn Trail places are going to look like, but I'm also really looking forward to the many places I've already been, like A Realm Reborn, Heaven's Ward, or Stormblood, and looking at these old expansions through a new lens of graphical update. On the technical side, they're giving us more options with more rendering options, a soft shadow option which blurs the shadows of the trees, which can get very pixelated very quickly. Ratiki Greatwood, I'm looking at you. We're going to get more defined waves, which should make ocean fishing a bit more immersive, and a new feature called Super Resolution, which will be implemented on all platforms. Yes, this does mean PS4 and Xbox, but there will be a few exceptions that they just will not be able to use because of the hardware. I am glad to hear that they're still supporting PS4 and the Xbox S, so console players can get more longevity out of their systems and not feel like they have to upgrade. We are getting upgraded blacklist improvements, which allows a mute list, term filter when searching friends, estate expulsion, which allows you to prevent people from entering your house, and enhance lodestone privacy. If you pair with a blacklisted person in a duty finder, let's say, they'll be shown as unknown and you can elect to see what they say in chat via command, which is an amazing capability for those who want to protect their own space in game. I have been in that awkward situation where I have blocked someone and then I pair with them and they can still chat with me via duty finder or in a dungeon. Yoshi does say they can't prevent you from matchmaking altogether as it would just make it far too complicated and he apologizes. You'll also be able to filter messages with certain terms in chat and increased ability to limit your lodestone data which in the world we live in now I know I'll be utilizing to an extent. I think this is a really good step forward to round out all of the updates they are bringing in order to give yourself a little bit more protection in game as it can get pretty crazy and ruin your gaming experience altogether. This is essentially it for the updates, but we'll cover these deeper in my stream tomorrow and you can catch my streams weekly on YouTube or Twitch with my most updated schedule in my Discord. Big pieces of news, the Yokai Watch collaboration event is back April 24th. This event last happened in 2020, so it's been four years since its return. This event gives you awesome minions and mounts, so you want to make sure to partake in this event as it won't be around for probably many years after this. I personally was right out of the game when this event happened, so I missed all of these cool minions and mounts, so I'll know I'll be going for the mounts for collections. They go over in an event schedule for Dawn Trail, which is the Yokai event, the Moogle Tombstone event, Make It Rain, a Dragon Quest collab, which I personally love, and then early access to Dawn Trail starting June 28th. There will be a 48 hour maintenance before Dawn Trail. Since they're releasing a huge expansion, we usually get a long maintenance period. Man, this has me really hyped up for Dawn Trail and it feels so close for all of us players. If you appreciate my content and want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to join the Bun family. You can find my Discord in the description box and thank you for joining me on my journey to be your go-to Final Fantasy content creator. If you want to watch my number one controller guide setup video for Final Fantasy 14, you can click here.